Greetings, Saberites, Anonymous here. So, uh, wanted to go over a quick little uh, explanation of uh, halo orbits, or the orbits that go around the head. Uh, we have them in, well, pretty much all over. Uh, first encounter them in Shicho with the Honor Sash, in that manner, and then in Suresu later on. Um, so, the, the, the complaint that often happens is you're bringing this behind your back, it's away from the opponent, whatever, and um, to that we usually respond that in solo training you usually don't have an opponent, so um, that's what makes it solo. So you're really more or less really trying to just kind of train the body mechanics and the movement to... Uh, uh, do a particular thing. Now what we're doing here is at some times if we get up into a, a bind or something like this or a parry to here, sometimes the shortest distance to go if he's going to go on, onto the other side is to go behind the head. Now that's, that's one way. Now the other way is like an honor sash when that comes into here we bring it here. So if we have a <clears throat> person uh, throwing a strike and we parry it, we can then bring it around to the other side of our body to where we can create a strike that's not going to be able to be easily parried by them because they have their weapon on that other side. Now you can turn with these uh, halo orbits as well. Um, what you want to do when you use this to turn is you want to be keeping the blade between you and the opponent. So it's often if the pro opponent is stationary and they throw the strike into the side and you get it here, right? You would turn like this, right? Which would you would end then end up facing the opposite direction, um, possibly behind them whatever. Uh, more than likely they will be coming, they will be moving towards you and you will bring it up like that. All right. Now, can you do this while you, while you spin? Yeah, sure, you can, but it's not going to give you pretty much any, any advantage. It's just like you got to be really, really, really quick and Quite frankly, you're not going to have an opportunity to do that. Um, most of this stuff is going to happen in real close as you come around that way, or if you're going the opposite way to here, like that, and then moving back that way to get behind the opponent, or at least just face the other way. So there's a couple of uh, different uses for that uh, just right there. Uh, changing direction and being able to move your blade from one side of your body to the other. Okay? Sometimes you can't do that in front of your body. Sometimes you're too close to the opponent and sometimes uh, the opponent's weapon is on that side and you don't necessarily want to hit that side. Right? And if you're coming up here like this, it is oftentimes easier, faster, just to go around and come down to the other side like that. Now, when you're practicing, you want to really be sure of the angles, right? And when you do them, because when you do them in real life, those angles are going to either protect you or not protect you. And so we want as much of the blade up and down as we can get. Okay, so that's just a little explanation right there. Hopefully that is uh, helpful to some people's practice. Um, we will be putting out more of these uh, pretty soon, so stay tuned. Um, other than that, have a great day. Practice patience, perseverance, and happy savoring.